course, we're going to here for Slap News. Power Slap number five is going down October 25th. And I've got Nate Bernard here going up against Damien DeBell. Let's get into it. The pre-fight interview. Nate, the Buffalo Soldier, the sensation coming to Power Slap. What's going on, my man? What's up? How are you? I'm doing really good. Doing really good. Great to see you continue on this meteoric, meteoric rise coming off your victory over Dwayne Crespo in line for a title shot. Erica gives you that call, tells you you're going up against the bell. What does it mean to you? I mean, it's uh, it's humbling. It's exciting. I mean, uh, everything, like all of this has come so fast, you know. Um, I didn't expect myself to, you know, go reach high in the ranks just like how I did and then now even having a title shot and even now being in the title. Um, but it's just an exciting, overwhelming feeling. And you know, I'm just excited and ready to get to it. Awesome, man. I think I lost you there for a quick second. But, uh, you know, I'm sure you know, you've known about this now for a couple of weeks before the actual announcement that Dana made. You know, once it was official, how has the fanfare been from the city, from your friends, from your family, from your fellow, you know, coworkers with the Bills? I mean, um, more more so than anything, I mean, it's just a lot of love over here. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, people from the Bills, they're excited about it. Um, but I'd say what's really more honed in is my friends and family. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, everyone is very happy and just they're, I'd say they're just excited to see something new, you know, someone else representing Buffalo in a different way. We've got a lot of people that, like Benny the Butcher, who's a rapper. We've got uh, a few upcoming rappers, chefs, small business owners, things like that. But nobody has really done Power Slap. And so they're just excited to see something new and something someone else that's, you know, representing Buffalo in a different light. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I previously said on a, on a podcast that we did last week that uh, I actually think you and Damon the Bell have very similar structures and makeup. And if you were to put you, you know, both you guys as kind of 10 year olds, probably very, very similar, you know, look, build stature. Obviously you guys went, you know, slightly different directions as you kind of grew up into your, your, your adulthood. But uh, what do you know of the bell and what do you expect to hit for him to bring come that championship matchup? I mean, I know he's got a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. um, I know he's done slap fight. Um, and I know that he's the champ as of now. But to be honest, I don't really know too much about him. Um, I was a I was able to have a few conversations or a few talks, just real short talks with him in my first match, uh, my first debut. And then this past time when we were in Vegas for a uh, little promo shoot, we were mm -hmm. able to, you know, chop it up. But we were just chopping up about life. Um, but I don't really know too much about him. I'm excited. I don't, I'm, I know he's going to come with the same energy um, to keep his title, and I'm coming with that energy to take it away. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it'll be an exciting match, and I, you know, I'm very honored to be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, you know, from Stevie to Dwayne, there was definitely a step up in competition. You know, you both of you guys have beat Dwayne now. Um, you know, so it's presumable that, you know, there's gonna be another step up in competition this time around. What are you doing right now to be able to prepare both on the offense as well as the defense? Because I do feel that the bell is going to bring another level when it comes to the strikes that he's delivering. Oh, yeah. I mean, I watched your guys. I watched your guys little review yesterday on YouTube. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I mean, I heard all of you guys inputs and everything. And it's uh, it's exciting to me. Because right now, my my biggest goal ever since the Dwayne Crespo match is to, you know, work on my defense more, be able to brace, be able to work on my traps, be able to work on my jaw, be able mm -hmm. to work on my neck even more and toughen that up. So I've been implementing that every single day. And, you know, there's definitely a difference. I've been getting slapped by even more so of my friends, you know. And so... Mm -hmm just to be able to feel that brace and have that shock factor out the window. Um, but it's a, uh, I think it's just a really like real gritty and bite down and go ahead and handle it. I mean, I'm, 
I say for myself, I'm really just chilling. I'm I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. I'm confident in myself. I feel happy. I feel ready to go. And you know, it doesn't. I'm not really worried too much about anybody that I go against across the table. To be honest, I really don't. I don't fear no man. So. Mm -hmm. Awesome, dude. I mean, I know you're right in the thick of the NFL season. Um, I know your old man's out there in Green Bay working also. I know he's a big part of you getting into Power Slap. Is his schedule going to allow for him to be there in Vegas with you to for, you know, for this title match? Man, I wish I was uh, – I wanted my mom to show up. I wanted my pops to show up. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, he's he's going ahead doing this thing in Green Bay, you know, he, and I'm uh, my mom's handling some business at the house, so I mean I gotta I gotta take up this trip myself. So um, another time, another time they're gonna be able to watch it and everything, mm -hmm. but they'll they'll come another time. So it's good. Yeah, I know. I know a lot was thrown at you real fast here. I mean, you probably didn't think you get a title match this quickly. Um, you know, but from when you started to where you are now, are you taking it more serious now? Like, are you viewing this as a potential future for yourself, way to make some serious money? Um, I mean, I'd say it's uh, I mean, it's exciting as of what it is right now. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would definitely like to, you know, pursue this even more so. But I know I also have other goals that I want to be able to accomplish in my life. Um, I have goals when it comes to you know finishing the rest of school up going ahead and uh, being able to, you know, try to work from just being, you know, security at the bills, you know, do something a little different um, and just kind of like see where my path goes. So, I mean, I would definitely like to be able to continue doing power slap, everything like this. Um, but the future, the future is the future. Only mm -hmm. one person knows and that's God. So mm -hmm. we'll figure that out when it comes. Yeah. When your boots touch down in Vegas for fight week, what's going to go through your mind? What's your mentality going to be like? Um, so my mentality, as soon as I touch down, it's not even when I touch down, really. It's, it's now, it's after the match that I had with Crespo. It's when I hold, when I hold start of this thing. It's, um, it's, you know, I want to, I want to be the champ. Mm -hmm. I would love that. I want to be in the champ. I want to bring that belt back to the city. So it's not a, it's not a whole idea of, you know, when it, when it happens just now and going through the motions. Now nah, this has been a goal. This has been a goal from the jump and to be able to manifest all the way through. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the, that's the prime time goal. And gotcha. I'll, I'm going to do everything it takes to, to get it. Yeah, I mean, when you're in there in Vegas, I mean, you know, all the fanfare when you're at the, uh, you know, the apex, everyone telling you, you know, congratulations, how great you are, all that stuff. How hard is it to go back to Buffalo to be removed from that, to get into the daily life, to get back to work, you know, to stay focused on it at hand? I mean, obviously, after, you know, you beat Dwayne, it was kind of foreseen that it was the number one tender matchup and, uh, you know, this matchup for the belt would happen. Has it been difficult for you to keep that same energy and excitement? Or is this something that you've been bred to do and just something that you went back to work in the gym with your training because you knew that this opportunity and this day was going to come on October 25th? I mean, it's, I mean, I got love. I got love in Vegas, but it wasn't anything crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but when I came back to Buffalo, it's, it's just go back with your business. Go ahead and mm -hmm. go back to work. So, I mean, every single – like nonstop, every single day, I'm working every single day, and not just working out, but like also my my regular job, working there every single day, um, you know. And then some. And then when I even when I got back, I had to take like three days of just double shifts, you know. So mm -hmm. like working sixteen hours plus, and it's just really just getting back to the motion of life, what it is. I mean, Vegas is cool. I'm enjoying that time. But then reality comes and you're like, all right, I need to lock back into what's going on in my life. When I get back and when I get back in Vegas or when I work out, that's where my mentality is of like, okay, yeah, you know, all my work and all my hard work, all these long hours, they got, everything is going to pull through. Everything is going to make it sometime. 
So that, that's the goal. Yeah, absolutely, my man. Um, if Damien DeBell is watching this, what do you want to say to him? Best of luck. You know, we'll see what happens. I'm excited. Get ready. Where's the confidence coming from, my man? You seem very cool, calm, collected. I'll just, I mean, that's just me. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm not, I'm not one for talking shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not one for, uh, I'm not one for, uh, you know, exercising or like bringing cloud upon myself. I think it just comes, you know, I, like, I'm like a very humble brag, but like, uh, I think it just comes just because I'm, you know, I'm a natural born leader. Um, and then folks just gravitate to me. I've been told this all my life. And I'm the, the confidence really just comes from one, knowing what I can do, knowing what mm -hmm. I've been through in my life. There's been things I've been through in my life that are way harder than power slap. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's if I have to get up there, go ahead, handle business, and make sure business gets handled, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really tripping. I was never tripping over Stevie. I was never tripping over Dwayne. I'm not tripping over DeBell just because, you know, there's a lot of things harder than what we're doing right here. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just for me to go ahead and get it done. Yeah. What are some of those harder things, my man? Things that people might not know about you. I'll say, I mean, I've seen a lot of death in my life. Um, I used to live in Africa. I used to live in Africa for two years right out of high school. So take a take an 18 year old kid right out of high school, um, you know, doing a mission trip, who's there building homes, irrigation systems, um, churches and helping people the best they can and take that living there in the most, in the third and fourth most poorest countries, Malawi and Zambia. And I mean, you meet somebody on a Monday and then by Saturday they're gone and you already had that relation with them and, death is such a very prominent factor over there that it's, I mean, it's touching. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, it, it brings, it's, it's messed up to say, but it brings like a, I feel very numb to it. You know, it hurts a lot, but it's like, it's, it's like a numbing thing. And it's very, um, I mean, it's just the way of life. It's a cycle of life. It sucks. Um, but I mean, I've been through a lot of stuff. I've been through injuries in the past. I've been through, the time in Africa, I mean, I've just been through a lot of roller coasters, trials and errors, trials and errors. But when I have successes, the successes are so it's, – it's, it's truly manifestations of, like, all the things I've been doing. Mm -hmm. For me to go ahead and debut against Stevie Ray, handle it how it handled, that's a manifestation. Because me and my pops were talking about that, talking about, yo, you know, you should do Power Stop. I feel like you could really – you know, handle business. And then I didn't think too much because I'm just like, nah, folks don't really want to get slapped. <laughs> but now seeing that he's right and I'm able to, you know, you know, go ahead, take the hit, be all right. And that's it. So, I mean, yeah, life's, life's different for everybody. Mm -hmm. But uh, I say for myself, you know, the only one that keeps me going is God and my family. So going against the bell, that'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm ready because that's just another that's just another stepping stone. Yeah. Absolutely, my man. I appreciate you joining me here. Look forward to seeing you there in Las Vegas. I know you're gonna bring it. So keep on training hard and let's yes. show out. Let's show up. October twenty fifth, live and free on Rumble. Power slap number five. No doubt. <laughs>